Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Another week, another video, and this week I decided to test out the Dermacol foundation. This foundation is notoriously known for being the most high coverage foundation on the planet at the moment. So heck yeah, I wanted to try it. I got this foundation from their Facebook page and I will link their Facebook page down below. I think it's their official Facebook page in Pakistan, so it's Dermacol Pakistan. So the cost of this foundation was pretty, pretty cheap. I got this for 990 and that is not bad for a very full coverage foundation. I have seen a lot of videos reviewing this foundation and I was dying to review it myself. This is what the tube looks like. It looks like a painting, uh, like a paint tube. The toughest thing about this foundation is to find your shade. There is a shade card online but it is so difficult to pick out what shade you are because I mean you have to swatch a foundation and especially all the shades look very similar. I picked up the shade 210 so fingers crossed I will not look like a dead ghost. I really don't like squeezable foundations. Okay it looks decent. I think we don't need oh damn it just keeps coming out doesn't it. Smells like a cream. I haven't primed my face or anything I'm just gonna put this on my skin and see what it's like. Oh boy. Oh my god, it's really covering up. One swatch. You really don't need a lot of this foundation. You really don't. Look at this. I think the color the color matching is pretty pretty good. Literally like my skin color. I have spots on this side of my face and I've just dot, dotted the foundation on. Let's see if this is able to cover up just as good as that side. Slightly waxy but it covers up a lot. I literally have so much on and I did not need it. You have to be a little careful when you're squeezing the product out because a lot of it can come out and you don't honestly need a lot. You need a very, very little amount. So I'm gonna take this on my neck as well because I feel like quite a lot of my face. Now that I think about it, I feel like a shade slightly darker to this one can be better because I look like a ghost right now. I normally don't wear such full coverage foundations because I just feel that they can be really heavy on the skin especially if you have to wear makeup on a daily basis, I like going lighter but honestly with this foundation, one coat and it's all, it's covered everything I don't think I need any concealer on my face, I feel like that my face is pretty well covered as in terms of application it was very easy to apply as So the uh, makeup is done and now I can give you my honest opinion about this foundation. It's not an everyday foundation by no means. It is so heavy coverage. It's not a natural looking foundation like maybe in pictures and on camera it looks pretty natural but in person if, I were, if you were to see me you would probably think that I have layers of foundation on even though I have the tiniest amount of the Dermacol on. If you suffer from acne marks or acne scarring or if you have like big pore problems and I think this is a very good full coverage foundation. I wouldn't recommend it for every day like I mean if you want to wear it every day then you're more welcome to do that but um, I'm not sure if you wear it every day if it will clog your pores or cause more acne because it is pretty full coverage so I wouldn't recommend that but um, as for the coverage 10 on 10. I have never used a foundation which has more coverage than this. Honestly, one swipe, I did not have to use anything. No concealer, nothing. If I am in a quick hurry and I want full coverage, I will I will use that foundation. I feel like maybe on TV shows and movies you can use this foundation because it is so full coverage and it hides everything. Color matching is difficult. I think this color is pretty pretty good for my uh, skin tone. 211 could be very good as well. I usually like to go on foundation.com and find a shade which is good which is a good match. I put in two foundations that I am using and then that website will give you a list of all the foundations in different brands and the color you should go for that foundation. So it gives you a pretty good idea if you have a warm skin tone or a light skin tone or a pinky skin. And then maybe if you look at the shade cards for the Dermacol foundation, you will be able to come up with a conclusion. I really, really like this look. I really like this foundation. The coverage is bomb. For the price, I think this foundation is amazing 
and they have quite a lot of shades so if you are interested go check it out and i hope you enjoyed this little review and if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and it would mean the world to me and i will see you in my next week's video bye bye